After completing 2001 A Space Odyssey, Stanley Kubrick attempted to make a film about Napoleon Bonaparte, but it ultimately got shelved. Kubrick then decided to film Anthony Burgess's controversial novella, A Clockwork Orange. A Clockwork Orange is told from the point of view of Alex DeLarge, played by Malcolm McDowell, a juvenile delinquent, along with his fellow droogs, take pleasure and delight in committing a series of violent beatings and rapes. Once he's arrested, he becomes a human guinea pig for a government experiment that completely eradicates the violent and sexual impulses in every human being, thus leaving him at the tender mercies of those he is afflicted. The book was given to Kubrick by Dr. Strangelove writer Terry Southern. Kubrick didn't get the language of the book that was a combination of Slavic, Russian, English, and Cockney rhyming slang. This science, if I may call it such, does not become you, oh my little brothers. As I am your droog and leader, I'm entitled to know what goes on, eh? <laughs> yeah. Now then, Dim, what does that great big horsey gape of a grin put in? But around that time, young filmmakers were making films for younger audiences and Kubrick felt that he should make the ultimate youth film. Malcolm McDowell's performance is a tour de force. He plays such a sadist, and unlike normal civilized people who turn away when we see something violent, this guy just enjoys it. He's like a kid in the biggest candy store in the world. He doesn't even turn away from the sight of blood. One scene that is considered to be the most disturbing scene in movie history is the beating and raping of a woman in front of her helpless husband. I can't imagine how Arthur Freed and Gene Kelly must have felt. When the film opened, an uproar arose in Britain. Feminists condemned the film, Catholics condemned the film, and the ratings board gave it an X rating. At the same time, a series of crimes and rapes were committed and the film was blamed for it. Kubrick also became the victim of death threats. Fearing for his safety, Kubrick and the studio withdrew the film from British cinemas and was never seen until his death in 1999. It has since then been regarded as a classic. I say you should take a look at this film, but I should warn you, it's not for the weak-hearted, the squeamish, or the uptight. Watch it at your own risk. <laughs>